Hey, what's good, everyone? It's your boy, Mystic Wolf. And uh, forgive my look. I literally woke up like about five minutes ago or so. Um, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to just tell you guys what's been on my mind and where I am mentally and why I haven't really been posting a lot of videos as much as I would like to do. Um, you know, as it's no secret and it's no surprise at this point, I'm still stuck in Virginia. I'm still trying to get my bachelor's degree. Um, luckily I am expected to graduate in December, so that's always good. Actually, I'm going to take my graduation pictures at the time of this recording is October 22nd, oh, I said second, October 26th. So I will be taking my grad pictures literally today and you now I got the whole confirmation email. So I'm really excited to just be out of the school, um, and everything of that nature. Classes have been going all right. You know, I'm taking five this semester. Jazz dance is probably my favorite, but you know the other four that I'm taking is okay. You know they they're there to pass the time. I mean I like ceramics too. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little hard to get into that class with you know wheel throwing and my hands and you know getting my clothes all messy, having to wear certain clothes so that way I can be prepared for that class. But either way, I really like that class. I think that class is really fun and it's really entertaining, and I learn a lot from it just by being in that class. So yeah, you know, um. That class is cool. And the other three, uh, I think I'm taking Navy of American History. It's okay, it's cool. You know, so a uh, lecture class. And I'm taking Health, which is a eh, snoozer, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And then Marketing, you know, it's also cool too, because, you know, I get to learn a little bit more about certain marketing strategies. And, you know, it can be good for my brand and my music, my photography, graphic design, so on and so forth. So classes have been going all right. There's, you know, a couple, one, there's one thing that I am doing currently. In, it's been kind of eating me up. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, and I got to do this literature review by October, and I have not really, I guess, finished it 100% uh, yet. But it's doable, and I can definitely get that done as much as I can. But yeah, academically, it's fine. I'm in a better place now. Academically, I'm not struggling as I used to, um, so I'm always pretty calm with that. But really, what I really want to talk to you guys, I guess, about me, since I don't really share and reveal my personal life, especially on YouTube, because I don't really be thinking people really care. I have 331 subscribers. I know y'all just want to see content of me making music, playlists, reviews, what I think about this, what I think about that, um, my vlogs, things of that nature. But I think um, this is the first time on this platform where I'm getting a little more personal with you guys. I'm not going to reveal everything that's going on, but more so just, I guess, and it'll probably lead to why I haven't really been uploading. I mean, obviously it's the fact that I've been busy, but that's not really stopped me from uploading. It's just quite frankly, y'all, I've been really depressed. Um, October has been probably the most depressing month out of the semester so far. I'm not going to lie. Um, um, I've been meeting a lot of people that has come in and out of my life and I fell off with a lot of great people um, that I've known for a short period of time and, you know, just how everything kind of came about and how everything went about just kind of hurt me a lot. And, you know, I'm an overthinker, I'm an artist and, you know, when it comes to us artists, we overthink on everything as far as our art, as far as how we can be a better person, a better woman, man, whatever the case may be. And sometimes when people come into our lives, you know, it always enhances our experience. It always enhances our perspective and our perception on things. And, you know, sometimes when those people leave our lives, you just don't really know how to completely handle it. Like, I don't I want to say I take I, I, I take rejection pretty damn well for the most part. But I guess people leaving me, especially people that I really known for a long time or depending on how close our bond was. That always hits a different uh, string for me because, you know, I have memories with that person. I have, you know, moments with that person that I hold really deep to. And the fact that, OK, it's just gone within a matter of days, a matter of months, a matter of weeks. And, you know, and each time it's like each time I, I try to open my mouth and, you know, let people know of how I'm really feeling because, you know, I'm really, you know, sometimes I'm not going to lie, like even being here, like. You know, I've been here for about five years now. And each time I'm here, I get really alone because all my friends have graduated like previous years. Some people have transferred. Some people have just, 
kind of went on about their lives and just dropped out altogether. So I don't really have a lot of people or friends I can really cling on to. Besides, like, there are a lot of 18, 19, 20-year-olds, and I'm 23, and I'm not saying that, oh, my God, I'm up. But it's, like, it's getting to that point, like, boy, I don't really resonate with y'all. Y'all just came out of high school. I don't really know who you guys are, and I don't want to associate with, you know, kids. You know what I mean? Not to say that they're a kid, like, but they act and their mentality and, and how they carry themselves is very kid like and I just need to be around people around my age, a little older, who have much more knowledge and a lot more experience in life so I can, you know, absorb that and kind of put that into my life. So it's always each semester gets a little harder. I'm not saying I don't have I mean I have friends here, but people here um I can't really relate to. I can't really, you know, have a conversation with um this college. So it's just one of these those things where you have people coming in and out of your life and whether it's for a class or whether it's for um, it's for an event or whether it's for an org or it's a roommate, whatever the case may be, it's never going to always be like long term. And I always see those people and I always had the fear of, of FOMO missing out and shit, but I don't think I have that anymore because I think I've experienced everything that college can provide for me. And it's just at the point I'm just completely like I'm done. <laughs> like, I just want to go home. Um, I don't really care about the people here because the people here, they're not, I'm not going to see them forever. Like, I'm going to meet different new people out there in the world that will, you know, be there for me, that will, you know, assist me, that will cater to my feelings and my interests. In. But to go back to the whole thing, I feel like when I speak up and when my emotions, I feel like I'm never heard. I feel like whenever I talk, I'm always making things a lot worse and sometimes make me think that like maybe I shouldn't express myself at all. And like we live in a society where mental health is very important. Like, you know, the suicide rates are always on us because whenever we open our mouths, it's always, oh, like, why are you being so sensitive? Why are you being so emotional? Oh, why are you? So that's not man like or whatever. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fucking human. I go through real life shit. And the fact that I can't even like, confide in you and tell you how I'm really feeling about you or just my life or situations, but that you get to, you know, make your own rules, make make your own agendas and you get to trauma dump on me. I don't think that's really fair. And I think I've been in a lot of situations in my life and just in this semester period where I've been a lot, I've been around a lot of one-sided people, a lot of one-sided relationships and a lot of people have benefited from me because I'm a really nice person. And I think people take my kindness for weakness, take my vulnerability for weakness. And whenever, you know, it's convenient for them, like I'm just a liability. And then people could just come in and out whenever they please. And they have no problem of like just doing their own shit. And that's not really cool for real. Like I, I try to kind of, you know, maintain my standards and maintain my boundaries when it comes to who I want in my life. But Nine times out of ten, I'm just like, fuck them. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean it makes me feel like I don't, I, like I, I'm I'm a ghost, and like it makes me feel very small. It makes me feel like no one cares. Like if I were to die tomorrow, people would say something and then they would just move on, and it doesn't make sense because I I literally put so much hard work into maintaining and keeping my relationships like alive even outside i try to read books i try to travel i try to do photography graphic design music i try to do other things outside of campus and going out there and expressing myself artistically uh you know doing the youtube thing you know i did the podcasting during uh quarantine you know i have a tiktok and i usually post a lot of content there here and there i post about you know just little daily things that i'm doing in my life so and i'm working out too so it's not like i'm not doing anything to improve my well my my life i am i mean i'm here i mean that's the lot of shitty people that don't really necessarily like me here which is weird to me but it's just always i'm always the black sheep like it's like i'm like a magnet and like for some reason people just want to be close to me but they don't want to be close to me like i'm gonna stay to them like i'm a, i'm just a pinterest board to them. that's how i feel like nowadays like people don't want to make deep connections with one another whether it's romantic or platonic it's always all right i'm gonna admire you from afar like i fuck with you but from afar and i don't want those type of people in my life like i want something real i want something abundant i want something genuine i want you know to have those friends where i can call them up and i don't have to feel guilty about expressing who i am as a person and i don't they don't have to make me feel like 
damn, like, why are you sharing this information to me? Like, what the fuck? Because normally I like to keep everything to myself. I also journal, too. I forgot to mention that. And I usually write everything in my music. I mean, if you guys don't know, drop the album Black Rose. And I had the whole rollout for that, made music on that. And it basically is a calculation of all the four or five years I've been in, you know, in this school. And, you know, I do that in the music, too. I do that at working out. So it's like, why can't I just have someone to just do that, like just talk to instead of having to go on social media and rant my whole entire life and ramble and complain and then people get mad and I'm like, well, I'm sorry. Well, you're on my phone, right? And I try to call you up. I try to text you up and you act like you don't want, like you act like I don't exist to you. So it's like, what, what do you want? What else more do you want me to do? And I get it. We're adults. We have things to do. We got work. We got school. We got responsibilities and other uh, obligations that to according our lives. But if you want to make time for me, make time for me because y'all niggas make time for yourself. You make time for other people. I don't understand why. When I'm putting in my best foot forward, y'all don't want to ever want to make time for me. It's always the short end of the stick. It's always, I'm like the last nigga to be considered for anything, whether it's parties or whether it's just any, like just anything in life. And I don't like how I've been treated recently. So my mental health has decreased drastically. I've been crying. I've been just not sleeping some nights, you know, I'd be waking up. I don't even be eating breakfast or having a well-balanced meal like that no more. I'd be eating some shit I don't even need to be eating. And I'm not gonna, you know, get more into that, but it's a lot. It's a lot um, that I'm balancing. And uh, I think just genuinely, I haven't even gone home since I've gotten back here. Like I've been here since August and again, it's October. I have not been at home. Like I have not seen family. I have not seen nobody in like, two to three months and that also saddens me too um when my relationship with my family i want to actually get better at that because me and my my family we have not had the best relationship and i want to get back into roots where i want to have a good relationship with my family so i can have a good relationship with myself because these are the people i live with these are the people that i see every single day these are the people that i interact with every single day and i want to be you know better at that so yeah like it, the mental health really like just pray for me y'all really pray for me um just Life has just been lifing. I don't know if it's the retrograde. I don't know if something's really in the air. I don't know what I've done to people. Some people have unfollowed me. Some people have blocked me for no fucking reason just because I'm just being me. Because some people don't know who I am. You people just see me as a musician. That's cool. You see, you see me as a photographer. That's cool. You see me as a as the graphic designer. That's cool. You guys see me maybe as the nigga that skates on campus. That's cool. But you will ne- but you won't know who I am. And like you know, I wish people would stop judging who I am, and I can get to talk to me, get to know me, and stop listening to people online or people from your posse and making up narratives as to who they think I am. Like, you will never know what I go through. You will never know the things that I've been through to get to this point. Like, Matt, so I, half the time, I'm dead ass sad as fuck, but I don't let that get to me. I try to live life like it's my last day, because recently I watched uh, The Last Holiday with Queen Latifah, and that movie made me cry because it made me feel like, yo, I've been spending my life so miserably trying to please others, trying to seek validation from other people. And what did that do for me? Nothing. It just made me more sad. It made me more depressed. It made me more anxious. It made me more antisocial. It made me more introverted. And it didn't, I didn't really feel like who I was, how I used to be. Like I used to be very extroverted. I used to not really care. Um, I used to just post shit for fun. I didn't think of, I didn't worry about funds at all. I didn't worry if people were going to leave my life or not. Like I just was like, all right, whoever comes, comes, whoever doesn't, doesn't like just fill in the vibe. And I always felt like no matter what the fuck I did, no matter what the fuck I do, I could do less, a little more, of less of this or more of this or a little middle of this. I have never enough. And that has just been, I guess, the theme of this video is just like, I've just been feeling like I'm just never enough. You know, just people have been doing me dirty. This goal has done me dirty for four to five years. Vajay's fucking up my schedule. Um, r- rooms have just not been the best. Freaking bathrooms don't even get me started. Niggas are, are dirty and just do not know how to wash themselves at all. 
Um, it'd be cold, so I'd be getting sick at times as well, too. I'd be having arguments with people back and forth for no fucking reason. Uh, people do not know how to communicate, and which angers me because I'm like, if you have a problem with me, I'd rather you just tell me instead of you acting fake around me and pretending that you like me when you really freaking don't. And you over here viewing my stories, liking my stuff, but you don't want to talk to me. And that does it. That also makes me really upset as well, too. So mentally, I'm going through a lot. This family... Um, not family, whoops, friends and other people alike. I feel like the people in my life are failing me. I'm going to just be blunt with it. And I just wish I had better people and better friends and better things in my life. And I just wish that the people that were in my life were didn't leave so easy, so quickly. And I just wish that they were much more accepting to my words and my feelings and my thoughts because I take everything... I'm a flawed person, too. Don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to act like I'm perfect because I have things going on myself, too. But I try to make an effort, do the best that I can to make a change. But some people don't really give a fuck. They just kind of want to do their own thing. And they just want to leave and they get hanging for no reason. And we just live in a really cruel world where nobody really gives a fuck about knowing another besides themselves, besides their friends, and besides, you know, what concerns them. And that shit has just been fucking me up a lot recently which goes into the content because i'm depressed and because i've been going through a lot i have not been motivated to really drop any content um i dropped that one video about my playstation 5 review which by the way yes i got a playstation 5 so if you guys want to add me um i'll leave a link in the description box below to my gamer tag if you guys want to play some games with me that'd be really fucking cool i don't really have a lot of multiplayer games so bear with me i don't really play games like that because well i'm in school and i want to finish school first before anything else but that's really what the the TL, that's what the TLDR is about that is. Um, so I didn't really give you guys an in-depth of how I was feeling. I just kind of want to make a video and then leave. Then I made my Beyonce video, and that was really fun. My vlog, I kind of, you know, shared a little more um, about that. And I wanted to get back in the vlog. The vlog is fun. And Beyonce was really fun. And, but I didn't really go much into details. Then I just dropped this whole rollout with Black Rose, my music, so on and so forth. And I didn't give you guys nothing. Like, I was done. Boom, bada bing, bada bow. And then I left. So, um, and I just didn't tell you guys, like, you know, what was going on. And, you know, I didn't make any content because I just didn't know what to talk about. I mean, there was music out, but some of the music that was out just didn't really interest me. Like, I know Drake's album came out, and I don't really care about reviewing it because I don't care about Drake like that at 23. Like, he talks about the same shit that he's been talking about since I've been 12, and I don't really care. Like, he got some songs um, off that album that I like, but it's no, it's no, I'm not going to, you know, react to it and risking a copyright strike on my channel. Same thing with, you know, Travis, so as much as I like that album, I didn't really feel like it was worth talking about because I didn't know if it was, you know, the people watching the video was going to actually even care. So I didn't really drop a video on that. Um, and I could have, you know, given y'all vlogs here and there. And there were some things that happened over the summer. Like I saw Redville. Um, I saw Earl Sweatshirt. I saw Mike. Um, I saw Mavi. I also um, went to this museum of jay-z the the book of hove that shit was really awesome i could have made a vlog on that and uh you know other things as well too that happened around the semester um you know I, i've made music videos on some of my songs which you know really blessed to be an opportunity to work with a lot of great people on campus who see my talent and want to um you know put that on their page um even like you know there was a big rap page uh that had like over a thousand like over 100,000 followers and they literally posted me on their page and I was like whoa like you know I felt really happy I was like oh man thank you for acknowledging me like you know, I don't know if it's one of those spam pages or whatever but the acknowledgement means a lot to me even if there was bots or whatever I don't care if that page had a lot of followers Fuck it. Any exposure is good exposure, I guess. So that was really freaking cool. And I got CDs too, guys. You know, I got CDs on, on the album too. If you guys have not bought that, please do. Um, it's link is in the description box below. There's five copies left. We're gonna be shipping that out very soon. So the people who have made a who got a copy, please just wait. I promise you the album not the album. The CDs are coming. Just have a lot going on, and I'm not really in charge of mailing and ordering the CDs. So yeah. 
we're going to get that on the way. And I'm in a band, kind of, uh, in the eyes only. And I've been, you know, rehearsing. I've been trying to get live performances for you guys instead of just the usual I play beat on my phone and then I just perform. I actually am working with real musicians and singers and we're actually orchestrating um, songs, like actual, like a tiny desk uh, type of um, thing with it. And it's really going really great, really um, amazing. It's the same people that I worked with um, around earlier this year when... Um, we were kind of doing Scrapbook Theory, which is also another group that I'm in. Um, we dropped the EP literally earlier this year, and I'm in like three songs. Um, so if you guys want, you want to check out that EP, you know, link in the description box below if you want to hear more music from me. Just a verse, but it's around good people that have good interests in me. So there's a lot of things that happened that was positive throughout the year that I could have talked about, but it was just like I wasn't in a mood or just something else happened. Something else kind of came into my life and I was just like, nope, fuck it. I'm not going to do it. And I just wasn't in the mood to do it. So there was things I could have talked about. And also I got a new Mac. Uh, if you guys don't even know, like I'm not even recording on my iPhone, which I usually do. I have a new Mac now. You know, I have a, a, a MacBook um, M2 uh, Air and I'm loving it. It's probably one of my favorite things I've actually invested in. All year, probably ever, because this shit is expensive. And, you know, I got maxes as well, too. So your boy's been dropping a lot of dollars on just cuts, you know, looks, you know, fits, too. I've been, you know, getting back into my fit bag as well, too. I kind of fell off. I've been kind of on my comfy bag because it's fall. But, you know, I'm trying to get back into fits and, you know, all other, you know, good stuff. You know, I'm dressing up as a particular artist very, very soon that is actually dropping uh, tonight. So that's actually pretty fucking convenient. Um, but, you know, um, just I haven't been compelled because just, you know, things has just been going on and, and just I haven't really found the motivation or time to just do it because video making, it, it takes a lot. You know, I don't want to just post bullshit and then that's it. And then fucking end of the video. Like I want it to be funny. I want it to be something worth posting. I want it to be something that, you know, and I really wait. I wanted to wait until I got to a point right now in my life where I wanted to share these things to you guys. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that has been positive. This hasn't all been negative, um, but it's been more on the negative side of things really for me than side of positive. Physically, I feel all right. You know, I look good. I've been working out again. You know, skin's looking pretty damn good. Emotionally, I'm broken. Like, I don't know if I want to like nor love somebody right now or again that shit is a little mm. <laughs> oh my god people are weird here in, in the south i'm not gonna lie to you guys like shit um and i thought new york was bad but fuck i think i just have a too big of a wholesome warm soul for the world because i just keep getting fucked up by these people man just taking my love for granted taking my kindness for granted like i you know mentioned earlier just you know, just treat me fucking unfairly. Like, again, like, I don't fucking matter. And I just, again, I don't have a lot of good, great people on my side. As, you know, the people that I would like to build bonds and relationships with is like, they just don't fucking make the time for me at all. And I got to go out of my way to, you know, do the extra shit, you know, do the hard work. And, you know, everybody just kicks up, gets their feet up. And as if, like, they could just talk to me and say anything to, for me, uh, to me whatsoever. And it's emotionally... I don't think I have been available for myself and I haven't been available for the people that, you know, do need me. But I need to work on me and work on healing and work on, I guess, trying to be better for me before I can even accept or love anybody else again. Um, love is very exhausting. It's very expounds a lot of energy in me. And um, I don't think a lot of people deserve my love. A lot of people don't deserve my time or energy because I put a lot not only to myself, my art. And everything, everything else, people haven't been reciprocating. And I can't stand for that, you know? I'm tired of being, you know, abandoned and alone and feeling like, fuck, like I can't accomplish shit in life um, without these people and being around toxic, um, manipulative, gaslighty friendships. Um, the people that don't even clap for me or don't even support me or don't even, you know, serve me. Um, I can't even laugh or have a good five minute conversation with uh, being around crowds without feeling awkward or feeling like I'm completely like ghosted out. You know, people just been 
treat me like fucking crap. And I been feeling like I just don't matter to the world. So emotionally, a nigga's been dying out here. And all I'd be really asking is just the love that I give to people. I wish it was given to me back. Because I, I try to, you know, the, the world is already enough. And I just try to give it back uh, the best way I can. But, you know, people just don't seem to really give a fuck about me or give a fuck about, you know, what I got going on. But that's whatever. I'm not going to get more. I'm not going to get into that because that's a whole other rant. That's a whole other thing that I don't want to really. But yeah, um, spiritually, I'm trying to get more with God and talk to God, read the Bible more. Because I thank God I really need him a lot more nowadays than ever. Because I'm trying to get these last few months, guys. It's been hard. But that's it. Um, I know this video is 25 minutes long. And I don't know if you guys are going to watch all of that. But I wanted to just share to you guys what's been going on with me. I Again, not that personal on YouTube. I like to just keep my videos um, streamlined. And I like to keep it going. But I felt like I needed to confess and tell you guys what's been going on because I'm not doing all that great to be honest nowadays and I need your energy you know I need your energy to get through this semester I need your energy to attract better people in my life I need your energy to you know just get through life it just it never gets you get used to it but you just never it never gets easier like 23 and I've been humbled a lot and I just am tired of being humbled and get these life lessons. And I, hopefully, um, within next month or the month after that, you'll be seeing a different me. I'll be graduated. I'll be back home. And uh, I'll be ready to talk about life and do all that other stuff again. But as far as content for me, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where I'm at. I do want to make content for you guys, obviously, when I graduate. But right now, bear with me. I will get back to you soon. I need to just take my time with things, take a break, and um, just kind of find myself again, find my wings again, and uh, just take a step back from people and just, you know, try to live my life. And, yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, if you guys made it this far. Um, all the things I mentioned in this video, link in the description box below, if you guys are interested. I love you guys so much. Um, thank you for being here with me for this long. And um, I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.